Differences between Outlook 2010 and Outlook OWA. Brought to you by Log On to Learn. Objectives include What is Outlook OWA? And the differences between Outlook 2010 and Outlook OWA. Outlook Web App, or OWA, is the web version of Microsoft Outlook. For those of you that have not used Outlook in the past, Outlook is essentially a personal information manager, providing users with email, calendar, contacts, and tasks. Microsoft has done an exceptional job refining the latest version of OWA 2010, looking very similar to the client-based version of Outlook 2010. Being web-based does limit some of its capabilities, but for most users, Outlook OWA provides all the features and benefits, allowing users to manage emails and calendar appointments. Before exploring the web-based Outlook application, I thought what we could do is go through the client base to show you some of the features that are available only in the client. This is going to be the Outlook that is installed directly on your computer. The first thing that you'll notice is that you're going to have tabs and ribbons full of all kinds of options. You're also going to have a to-do bar, which is going to show you the date navigator, upcoming calendar appointments, and some of your tasks listed here. Another feature is that Outlook will integrate with Microsoft Office. So if you have a Word document open or an Excel file, you can easily email it right directly from its application. You also have the option to create a personal folder, and this will set up a .pst file. That's where you can actually save some of your emails in a different location off from the Exchange server, but still have access through Outlook. You can also access your mailbox offline. And we have a couple of different calendar views that are available as well. We do have the side-by-side -side view, which can be seen in both versions. But as we start to add more of these calendars, we also have the overlay view, which overlays multiple calendars, and the new schedule view, which shows them in a more horizontal view. Down here in your go-to menu, you also have a couple of other locations that you can navigate out to called Notes and Journal. And there's a lot more customizing that's available in this full version of Microsoft Outlook 2010. There are some benefits to using Microsoft Outlook OWA. Let me switch over to the OWA interface. For one thing, you can access your email and calendar from almost any web browser. This includes smartphones and tablets. You can access Windows SharePoint services if it's set up from your work. And this allows you to access document libraries and Windows shared files. And you can also manage mobile devices. Now, although the initial benefits to using Outlook OWA might seem fewer than the full version of Outlook, there are a lot of similar features found in both versions. And some of the new features that have been added to this new OWA include searching, adding favorites to your navigation panel, filtering incoming messages, ignore conversation, reading pane options, and use as conversations, the ability to set categories and flags, expanded right menu options just by right clicking somewhere, and under calendar we have the side by side view no overlay, but side by side, and you can close it out by hitting the X here or unchecking the box here. And that's a quick overview of the differences between Outlook and Outlook OWA. To learn more, check out the video title, Getting Started with Microsoft Outlook Web App. To view other related topics, be sure to check out our full video library at logontolearn.com. Educating the world anytime, anywhere.